hi, happy travelers. Whether you're traveling through the stars or you're traveling with us on our January 12th, 2020 cruise. I am so happy to be able to talk to you today. Our fabulous Nadia Shah is going with us along with some of the finest astrologers that you would ever want to meet. And yes, we're leaving out of Fort Lauderdale and it is going to be a transformational voyage. One in which we are preparing ourselves for this 2020 challenge that has come into our lives. This is extremely important as I'm sure you have heard Nadia talk to you about it. But today I'm going to talk to you about Saturn because this is the Saturn-Pluto conjunction. And not everybody understands exactly what Saturn could or would be. But there is a wonderful book that's called The Greatness of Saturn. It was a story about how all the planets came together and they talked, who is the greatest planet of them all? And what happened is the book goes on to talk about Saturn and Saturn describes a king, an authority figure who was out looking at his countryside and all of a sudden his horse got spooked and he wound up being thrown off saddle and dragged for miles and miles away from his kingdom. In this process, he became tattered. He lost a lot of the, the sort of kingly markings that were on his horse. And he wound up in the middle of nowhere until someone found him. And they brought him to a new country and a new village. At first he didn't know who he was, but then again, he did go inside to understand the integrity of who he is. So during this time that he was in this new country and in this new village, what happened is he had a lot of challenges come to him. The first challenge is that he had no money and he had to find a job. And because he was a stranger in the village, not many people wanted to hire him. Then the next challenge was, yes, he got a job, but it was menial. But being a man of integrity, he did the job well. But being an outsider, he was challenged again. Who is this? Who's this stranger in our village? And he was given an additional bad time. But he continued to work. He continued to be the man that he always was and is inside of him. Yes, there were even more challenges. At one time, illness befell him. And he wasn't able to do what it was that he needed to do. And he had to sort of crawl himself to work so that he could earn the money that he could support himself to keep himself alive. Now, at this point, it's almost as though he has become a slave. That's right, from being a king to becoming a slave. And as he understood his life, it didn't let him waver. He wasn't one of those arrogant kings. He was one of those kings that was fair and just and always did what he knew was right to do in his heart. And yes, he recovered from his illness. But this all happened over a course of some years. And then one year, he met the owner of the business in which he worked and he saw his daughter. And this king fell in love with this beautiful young woman. But yet, his heart could not be fulfilled 
because the king basically was seen as a slave and not this royal personage which would be worthy of this man's daughter. It's not that he thought his daughter could ever marry a king, but at least she could marry somebody who was considered of substance, who was considered to be someone that he could take care of her in a manner that would be befitting the owner's daughter. So this brought a trial upon him again. Now, it seems as though that a number of years, seven had gone by, and once again, more trials befell him. And then there was one day, he was working for the man, and there was this other fellow who came into a village who was a stranger, and no one would be kind to him. And yet the king went to him and offered him food and said to him, don't worry, I will share with you with what I have. The man took a second glance and he said to him, aren't you the king from that county? And he said, yes, but no one here knows me. He says, but I know you. I was in your kingdom. You were always fair. You were right. You were just. At this point, the so-called stranger took him and said, come with me. And on the stranger's horse, of course, the king let the owner of the business know that he was leaving. He didn't tell him that he was a king. He just said that he had to leave with the man. And he went back to his kingdom where he was very well received because in the time of his absence, things did not go as well as they were when he was king. So they honored him. They gave him his robes back. He had fine horses and he was able to settle many accounts that had happened in the village in his being gone. And then his heart touched him. And what he did is he got together almost a caravan to go to that other country to find that man, to find the love that he had left behind. Upon returning to the owner, he was in total disbelief that this man who he thought was a slave had come back to ask for his daughter's hand in marriage, which the owner was more than happy to give, realizing that his daughter would be well provided for. So what is this greatness of Saturn? The greatness of Saturn is a planet that can take us through every trial and tribulation we could possibly imagine. We can go through loss, we can go through emotions, we can go through illnesses. But the most important thing in this story is that whether you are king or pauper, that you do not lose your integrity you do not lose who you are in the highest spiritual values possible. And that you understand that by being the right person, by being of good nature, by being of who you truly are, that the rewards of who you are will come back to you greater than ever before. So as we look at our lives and ourselves and we see the tribulations and we see the problems that are facing us, we ask ourselves, can we be like this king? Can we be able to have the opportunity 
to let ourselves go through these tribulations, knowing that we are forever connected, and knowing that the transformation that is ahead of us is going to be greater than we ever thought possible. Yes, we are going on this 2020 cruise. And yes, Nadia, myself, Cassandra Butler, Kenneth Miller, Greg Keane, and Samuel Reynolds, we're all going to be there for you to be able to understand that no matter what tribulations you are going through with these Saturnian aspects now and throughout 2020, that you are going to have the map, the healing, the understanding that you can make it through to find greater rewards, to be who you truly are, and to understand that life has many gifts to offer us despite what's going on in the moment. God bless you, happy travelers. May you know the love, the joy, and hope on our transformational cruise, leaving out of Fort Lauderdale, January 20th, January 12th, 2020. All right, all aboard.